In the last video, we saw how to create SQL data warehouse on SQL Server. In this video, we are going to talk about Data Factory, which is a mechanism to load data from your on prem database onto the SQL data warehouse on Microsoft Azure cloud platform. In order to do that, go to new intelligence and analytics and click on data factory. Here, give a name subscription. You can use existing resource group and pin to dashboard. Click on create. Once done, the data factory is created and you can see the options for data factory. As I mentioned earlier, the data factory serves as a pipeline, a mechanism to upload the data from a warehouse or an on-prem database like Oracle, a DB2 or HDFS, Hadoop, a NoSQL databases to any database on the cloud. So let's let's see that. Let's copy data. and give a name, run once. In the source, you can select anything. Amazon Redshift, S3, Azure Blob Storage, Data Lake Store, which we discussed earlier, SQL Data Warehouse. It can be served, anything from this list can be served as a source of data. HDFS, HTTP, Mongo, Cassandra, OData, any ODBC connection, Oracle, so on and so forth, Salesforce. And once you select a database, click on Next, and the destination database would be some database on the cloud. I'm not going to do it because I don't have an on prem database ready yet. But you know it's, it's very simple, and then you can schedule it to run automatically, or you can run it once and it it creates a pipeline. So Data Factory also has sample code facility to write and customize data store, link devices, data sets pipelines and gateways. Basically for any on-prem database, you need to download, download a gateway service, install it and be able to transfer data from on-prem to the cloud. There are sample pipelines available as well. Customer profiling and suggest a sample. Monitor and manage. This is your monitoring tool. Obviously, we don't have pipelines or data sets, linked services. Metrics and operations, it tells you how many pipelines are running. It's kind of a tool to manage the, the pipeline, the runs, and everything related to Data Factory. So, thank you for watching. In the next series set of videos, we're going to talk about machine learning, how to create a web service on the machine learning platform, you know, self learning unsupervised, supervised models. Thank you for watching.